going on everybody c4 here welcome to episode 49 of our madden 20 connected franchise mode here with the tampa bay buccaneers we are three and three we start the year out not good at all we've won three games in a row i think uh it's very easy very confident to be looking at you know you look at carolina yeah, they're ahead of us. You look at Saints. Yeah, they're ahead of us. But, you know, we we beat the Panthers. I feel like we can hang with the Saints. And we have a chance to get another big in-divisional game here in the NFC South against the bottom 1-3-1 one, one Atlanta Falcons. They did beat us week one. Our season opener to kick off this series. We did lose in a disappointing fashion, to say the least, against the you know the Falcons. It was a game that had a lot of turnovers. A game we probably should have won. A game with a quarterback that we passed over multiple times to keep James Winston in. But Jameis Winston has played himself into holding on to his position, at least, at least by a week-to-week -week basis. Like, I personally want to go to Hank Bachmeyer sooner than later, but Jameis Winston's been doing his damn thing. And much like in real life, you know, there's a legitimate shot Jameis Winston in real life right now could lead the league in yards, touchdowns, and interceptions. So you look at him right now in our Madden, uh, 1,800 yards, 13 touchdowns, 11 picks, in only six games like he is on pace to have a ridiculous just number of of stats i can't say he's gonna have a ridiculous season because he's also gonna have probably you know <laughs> there's a chance we're gonna have almost 30 interceptions with him but he's moving the ball and he's winning the games for us right now so until anything else crazy happens i don't know if we can move on uh to block my unless he has another bad performance i don't know man i, I really am gonna be hard pressed. look he's leading the league in passing yards in touchdowns he's right there Along with, you know, geez, Kyler Murray and Baker Mayfield. Both Oklahoma Sooners having exceptional starts to their their campaigns this season. But um, it's been good. I mean, our running attack, look at just looking at all the stats generally, we have recently made Trey Sanders our starter. I think that's going to be better in the long run. Still can utilize Austin Eckler, but the fact that he's up for contract, he's 28, going to be 29. That's usually where running backs regress. You know, we need to make a, a long-term decision. And, you know, you're still going to utilize Eckler, but Trey Sanders really is the future. Uh, receive obviously both our receiver our receivers gotta have crazy numbers with James Winston throwing the ball. So Mike Evans and Chris Godwin both are dominating 91 yards per game, 87 yards per game. OJ Howard's kind of spot duty. Same with Schwartz. Uh, obviously that insane touchdown last week. The, the game winning touchdown, 63 yards to Tony Pollard. I mean, we might have to get him more snaps. I think he deserves more snaps. He deserves better look than what he's currently getting. On, on the offensive line, our tackles just continue to give up. Same, you know, honestly. It was, since it was a common issue with the Raiders franchise, I'm actually going to go into the gameplay sliders here, and I'm going to up the pass blocking to, like, we'll go 48. 48, eights and sevens, for whatever reason, seem to give me uh, pretty good results. So let that pass blocking just to 40. Obviously, yeah, hold the ball on too long sometimes, maybe even most times, but it's just, it's just too coincidental that, like, my tackles have an unrealistic amount of sacks given up. So we'll see if that helps them out just a little bit. But, yet again, worse. And Jerron Christian, not good enough. Defensively, uh, Devin White got 65 tackles, 4 TFLs. We got 60 tackles, 10 TFLs, 3 sacks from Isaiah Simmons. The man we converted from safety to linebacker. The big man getting the job done, though, is Vita Vea. 24 tackles, 6 TFLs, 8 sacks, doing the damn thing. Murphy Bunning with 2 picks. But Vita Vea, the reason why we bring him up is because... He has a new contract. He's look, at least he's looking for a brand new contract, which we are going to greatly oblige. He wants a one-year deal. I'm going to knock it up to two years. Maybe even three years. Knock, no, we'll go two years. Two years, $15.4 million. And, of course, he wants to get paid a little bit more money. We, I, I really don't want to let him walk at all. I love playing with him. He's a very fun user with that 98 strength. So we'll make sure we can come back to the table there. And I, I mean, I still am conflicted, but it works. That's not a ridiculous deal for a guy that still should develop. He's just not playing well. So we'll see how well the, the you know updating the sliders to pass blocking to 48 does. If it makes it a little bit more realistic. But I mean, we've had this issue before. Even going back with the Raiders. Trent Brown would have like plus four morale. And he gave up 20 some. It just makes no sense. So we'll, we'll see if we can get some sense made as we get ready for a big home stretch here in today's episode. Week 7 against the Falcons. Week 8 against the Detroit Lions. We're 3-3. Three and three. This almost... I'm not going to say it's a must win. I mean, we're 3-3. Three and three, We're 500. But... If you look at the scope of the division, we have to be able to beat an Atlanta Falcons team whose only win of the season was actually over us. So we want to kind of make that one right. So let's get in this game. And hopefully James Winston continues to play lights out and we can get a dub. Oh, oh, go kid. 
Oh, please don't be Josh Jacob. Oh god, he gets caught from behind. I like I like Trey Sanders. I like what he but man, for once, I would love to have my starter running back be like a burner, you know? Third and goal. No Mike Evans on the field. That is very disappointing. But Swartz is just too damn fast. He gets open. He's a guy that we want to see a little bit more production. We traded for him from the Carolina Panthers. He's been a good third option, but considering how dominant Mike Evans and Chris Godwin is, on one hand, you'd want to see him do better because you're like, well, why are these guys, these other guys are performing? Why aren't you? But on the other hand, there's only so many yards that can go around. And uh, hey, at least he stepped up when Mike Evans was off the field there. Open and drive touchdown, Bucks. Come on. Oh! Almost! Oh my god, that would have been... <laughs> that would have been the greatest... I don't even care what happened. That would have been the greatest play in the history of this channel if I would have been able to get a first down there. That spin move, though. Third and ten after the uh, the block punt heroics from uh, uh, Johnny Townsend here. The spin don't break. Whole new field goal attempt. Keep it right in front of us. It's cowardly play calling from the Falcons. Nothing but screens and checkdowns, which happens in like 75% of Madden games anyway. But hey, we hold new field goal. Oh, let's go. Home run hitter. Home run hitter. On the defense, Isaiah Simmons. You give him a free run, he's taking that one to the house. Okay, that was the greatest blocking performance I have ever seen. No, 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 no. Worse, make the tackle then. Just stand there. And worse. Jameis. Pick six, baby. Let's get this all day. Oh, there we go. There we go. Mike Evans, or not Mike Evans. Jameis Winston better get a touchdown before halftime. That's all I know. He wants any chance to come out second half. Playing QB, he's gonna get a touchdown this drive. Okay, I mean, we'd love to see Big Mike win his route there at the top of the screen, which he does. Fifth inning jump ball, give him a chance. Touchdown, Jameis Winston, Mike Evans. Mike Evans yet again saving Jameis Winston's career for at least another quarter. Ah, uh, wasn't even close. Wasn't even. Time. It's time. Let's at least see what we got. I hate my corners. Whatever I do, make sure I draft a corner with my first round pick. Whatever I do, these corners are ass. Third and five, okay. Third and five. What does the kid have? No one's open. He completes the pass. Uh, what is it? Third and fourth and three. Let's go for it. Fourth and three. We got. Put, I mean, let's. I, I, we got The trade deadline's coming up. Is Bachmeyer gonna be our guy? Are we gonna have? Oh, not his fault. That was a drop. Tough cat. Con contested go, catch. Go, go. That was a drop. And there's another drop. Another drop. His two completions have been horrific drops. Chris Godwin, OJ Howard. Maybe there's just not the chemistry yet between them. Okay. Okay. Oh, beautiful. Oh come on, let's give one let's give him another let's give him another touchdown. Come on, 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 come on. Let's go. Come on, hunt the ball! Oh, he got destroyed. Whatever. Whatever. I think it's the Bachmeyer era. I mean we still got There's something I want to check out on the trade deadline just in case, but Bachmeyer looked pretty damn good. It looked as advertised for what we saw in the preseason. James Winston, three tone overs, got benched after the end of the what was that, third quarter? First turnover in the third quarter. It was not playing well, man. It's Because the point in time that the positive of James Winston, like the fact that he just aerated out with the best of them. We gotta go Bachmeyer, man. The completion percentage, 81%. I mean, okay, first of all, Falcons quarterback was just obnoxious. 34 of 38. Our secondary has to get overhauled. 
But uh, like I said, man, we're gonna try to make some moves with Trent. I have no attachment to really anyone on this team. So if we can try to make this team better before the end of the deadline, we will. But Bachmeyer coming in 13 of 16. Almost 200 yards, a touchdown, no picks. He look, he didn't look bad. He did not look bad. Trey Sanders, 6.3 yards per carry. Definitely had to run the ball more in this game. But unfortunately, when you fall behind like we did, you have to abandon the run. Uh, Chris Godwin, seven catches, 131 yards. He did have three drops on the day. Two drops. Were, like The wide receivers were not helping our quarterbacks out. Um, but Mike Evans, five catches, 95 yards, two touchdowns. O.J. Howard getting involved here. Schwartz had a receiving touchdown. On the defensive side, we had 11 tackles, a TFL, two sacks from Isaiah Simmons, who's been a, just an absolute monster. Three TFLs from Devin White. We had a sack from Jeff Simmons. But uh, it stings. It stings losing to the last place team in your own division, especially when you really are getting some momentum. And you, honestly, if you go on a tear here, especially these three games leading up to the bye, we have two remaining. I mean, we could have been, we could have, I don't know. I, I, I really, we really are in a weird spot of what our, our expectations truly can be here with the Tampa Bay Buccaneers. At the trade deadline, we're sellers for sure. So we're really going to try to get as many picks as we possibly can. So first off, Austin Eckler. I mean, he, he is what it is, but we do have Trey Sanders. Tony Pollard could definitely fill in his role. He's in a contract year. You look at the Philadelphia Eagles trying to replace Darren Sproles. Eckler is a perfect replacement for that. So we're able to get a third round pick this year, a fourth round pick next year for Austin Eckler. Then we got a corner, Kendall Sheffield, who's not been good at all. I despise them, but you look at the Denver Broncos. Pillage that cornerback right now. We're able to get a third round pick this year for Kendall Sheffield. This one here was a little bit tougher. Um... Because, you know, I really want it to work out. I love how productive he's been in real life this year. But Shaq Barrett is doing nothing on our defensive line. He's in a contract year. He can be utilized. He's a guy, you know, we know that can get double-digit sacks. So I looked at the 49ers. They're a team that's cusp on the playoffs. They need that extra edge opposed Nick Bosa. So we have sent them Shaq Barrett for a second-round pick this year. Week 8, I mean, we pretty much have, have stated, you know, it's, uh, it's going to be a let's-see-what-happens kind of year. Trading away some of our assets. Um, but the big change coming here at the depth chart position when we look at the quarterback it's Bachmeyer's time we're gonna see what the kid can do I mean you got so many weapons Mike Evans Chris Godwin Schwartz OJ Howard looked well looked well in the preseason maybe we got something maybe we don't who knows we got a lot of draft capital right now to make a move if we have to so we got a week eight game here against the two and five Lions. You know, last week's game was very much winnable. This week's game also very much winnable. Uh, weekly awards here in week seven. Uh, another defensive player of the week performance from Isaiah Simmons. 11 tackles, two sacks. I think he's got look, two of them. He got one in week four too. So, uh, I mean, he's been simply outstanding. Him and Vita Vea, the, the heart and soul of this defense. So, and also speaking of Vita Vea, let's make sure we can give him a little bit better uh, contract here. Wants more salary over those two years. We'll give him 5.5. Should be enough to get it done, which it is. Given the makeup of this team, do we even offer contract for Wirfs yet? We haven't. Let's just give him this four-year deal. Does he take it right off the bat? He wants more money. You're giving up sacks left, right, and center. You want more money? Same with Marpet. Kiss my ass. Let's get in this game against Detroit. Bach my era. Maybe has started here in Tampa Bay. Let's find out. Let's do this. Hank Bachmeyer era. He's looking, he's looking ready. He's looking ready. He's, he's, he's hype. He's hype. Is it going to be good enough? I don't know, but we figure this is going to be uh, turning the page. Let's bring out the creamsicle. And let's, let's, let's drop a 40 bomb here on the lines. Okay, not an ideal start. We tried to like lessen the, the, the situation by going with two runs. Uh, back this up. We're backed up. And we started with a pick! Unreal! Hey, at least Tristan Wirfs did something well and stopped the pick six. Oh, come on. Wide open. DJ Hawkinson wide open. I hate this team. I hate this team, so why did we ever move on? Why did we have to get fired? Or let go, or traded, whatever you want to call it. Whatever really happened between the Raiders and John Gruden. Oh. We have so much work to do. Let's go. Okay, all oh, pass block on the right hand side. Oh, come on. There we go. There we go. Nice completion behind Godwin was sloppy. That's that you know, we're gonna get in a rhythm here. We gotta get his confidence back. Get that pick out of the way. You know, it's like the pregame puke. You throw it up, you get it out, and now it's time to play. Let's see here. First and ten. Try to air it out a little bit more. Oh, that's a garbage. 
garbage throw. What were you thinking? All right, you can throw up twice. You can throw up twice, and then you, you start playing football. There we go. Good throw. First, took us 14 attempts. We finally got a good throw. Like, again, that's the right decision. It's just a bad... Yeah. He's not good enough. He was wide open. Swartz had the step on him. He had the break. That ball was thrown behind him. Like, that's a touchdown. If we have any quarterback that literally can throw an intermediate to somewhat deep pass, that's a touchdown. Actually, I'm going to defend myself this one. This is Madden bullshit. Look at this. This guy's in man coverage, right? Unless this guy... It's Greg Stroman. He's like a 75 corner, right? How does he run this route better than my cor my wide receiver? Look at this. I am shocked. Greg Stroman needs to be an all-pro wide receiver if he's running routes like that. That's just Madden bullshit. There's no way. Schwartz has the inside. There's no way that there's that big of a gap when you're in man defense, unless you're like an all-pro corner that has like reactions off the charts, not a 75 overall corner in Greg Stroman. Oh, come on, come on. Get some confidence. Oh, it's just, oh. Get some. I need a trade for a quarterback. It's not good enough. It's not good enough. Bachmeyer is what we thought he was, a fourth round pick. It was fool's gold. Get him something here. Come on, Swartz. You got 96 speed. Yeah, something for old Bachmeyer to hang his hat on. Let's go, Mike. Let's go, Big Mike. It's garbage time. Whatever, man. It's something. Oh, let's go. Oh, what was this? What was this for three quarters of the game? There we go. Three touchdowns, Bachmeyer. Oh, let's go, Mike. Big Mike. Okay. I mean, I don't know what that game was. To be honest with you. Start out five picks, and then you get four straight touchdowns in the fourth quarter. I mean, Detroit took their foot off the gas. I don't I, You know, it's weird. I, I don't think. I don't know. I honestly don't know. It's quiz way. Regardless of what Bachmeyer did, it, it's no different than Jameis Winston. A lot of touchdowns, a lot of yards, a lot of picks, a lot of turnovers. Not good enough. Still finished with a 102 QBR, 20 of 34, 450 yards, four touchdowns, five. I've never... Like, that's Jameis Winston. Those are Jameis Winston, like, huge game numbers. Mike Evans was huge. Swartz had a breakout game. You can see definitely, you know, the, the third string of Swartz probably had a lot more work, a lot more chemistry to with Bachmeyer when you're working with the twos and stuff like that in practice during the week. And then Mike Evans, I mean, he's Mike Evans. Uh, Devin White, 11 tackles. We had one sack via Devaya, no turnovers, but Jesus. I have no idea what's going on in QB room at all. Is Bachmeyer, there's, we have more questions to answer with Bachmeyer, which is the last thing you want to have after a game with this. Five turnovers is not good enough. I may have a solution, but I'm not sure yet. I tried. You know, you think you're the smartest guy in the room. You have it all figured out. You have your emergency plan. Two players that are very talented. Murphy Bunding, 26, superstar dev, 85. Jeff Simmons, 26, 83, star dev. Derek Carr's 32. And, and they, the Vikings still stiff arm you. I tried. Now I'm. I have no answers right now for what we're doing at quarterback. This was my hail mary, and I. I couldn't even like this trade doesn't even justify itself. I mean the Vikings are four and two. Derek Carr's their starter. They do have a younger uh, Adrian Martinez from Nebraska. I think he's a 73, you know, developmental prospect at QB. So I am. I really have no idea what we're doing at quarterback. So not a not a good episode at all. Um. 0-2, oh, I mean, I guess more Bachmeyer. Week 9, at four, uh, you know, if you throw out the fact that he had five picks in a row with no touchdowns, and you just look at that fourth quarter, you just throw out all the tape, all the gameplay from first, second, third quarter. You just watch the fourth quarter, you get four touchdowns. So, I mean, even Peyton Manning was horrible his first year. So, I, I guess silver lining, he, he finished with four touchdowns. If he could just have a short memory, go into Arizona this week, another team that's not amazing. 
They're three and four. They got an 81 overall. They're actually a worse overall than what we are right now. Maybe. And then we got the bye that we that we can figure it out. And then we got Houston. They're a really, really tough team. But I guess another week of Bachmeyer. And we have a breakout player. We'll wait to see who that is. I can't tell. We're at the face value. Could be Isaiah Simmons, actually. Um, that is it for me today, guys. Thank you for watching. As always, I mean, if you have any suggestions what we can do with the quarterback room, I hope all these. Like I said, I had kind of Derek Carr as that Trump card, but that's just like I probably could have thrown in a first round pick or something like that to make that deal happen. But it's just he's 32. It'd be a a, a reuniting of of Gruden and Carr that I want to see, but at, at, at what cost, right? There comes a point in time where there's that threshold that gets crossed that it's just not. It's it's not gonna happen, man. It's just so I I don't know, man. I looked at the trade block here real quick. There's there's not much there. You got Aaron Rodgers for a one year to a 78. Like, do we really want to eat another $23 million cap? Nick Mullins, he's 28. Then you like, just get down here. Jay Fromm, Cole McDonald, he'll sink. Like, there's just no one there with real upside. All normal dev trade guys. So, like, anyone here that's below Aaron Rodgers, I don't necessarily think I, I, they're going to have as good of a chance as, as Bachmeyer. At least, like, same level of, of maybe, maybe they won't. So, you know, here we are. Here we are with the Bucks. Three and five, sellers at the trade deadline, and uh, you know the offseason. Right now, week nine, the offseason can't come quick enough. So thank you guys for watching. As always, first time stopping by, don't be afraid to hit that subscribe button, smash the like button if you enjoyed. And until next time, it's C4. Same peace out. Numbers going down, but I still stay consistent. Doubt come around, but I still don't listen. Do I need a new sound or a new vision? Perhaps it's time I make that decision. I don't want to think about nothing. I just want to stay doing something. I just want to stay cooking up. I just want to really live it up. I just want to really live it up. But what does that entail? A silver spoon drink.